what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki guys and today guys I'll be showing you how to set up your jailbroken system just the basic way guys I'm not gonna be showing you how to do cheats or do mods or anything like that this is just for people who just got their PSG jailbroken and they just wanna relax and play some game and enjoy it so I will be leaving the link in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out also guys in my next video I will be showing you how to install games and talk about the different types of game files and also showing you guys um, how to rip games from CDs and all those stuff so guys just go ahead and hit that like that share button and also hit that subscribe button guys so let's get started so I'm gonna the, the link in the description is gonna take you to this website called brewology.com and when you're on this website guys it's gonna look like this so whatever if you need like homebrew applications just go to homebrew right here and you can choose whatever homebrew that fits your needs guys so on the top they talk it shows the 4.80 spoofer enable disabler and if you click on it you can read a little bit what it does and it shows the the down the, it shows the version and the date was released and how many people hit like the it's are like the the download um, ratio I would say so you can go ahead and download but what if this if the the spoofer doesn't fit your need you can go ahead and get anything else you want because there's a lot of application on the website that you can get and if you don't understand what one of the application does you can always google it and it will describe it will tell you what it really does or what it's really meant for so guys as you see I'm scrolling down and there's a bunch of application to be used non-stop guys ps2 classic this is for loading ps2 games and FTP is where you can send um, install um, copy over files to your PS3 using the internet cable or using the Wi-Fi you don't have to use any USB sticks and also guys the PSN patch and PSN ninja and PS nope and down here um, the send enabler I think these are what people use to to be able to go online and also do their cheats and all those things that's what I think I've never used them guys because I have an original PS3 that I use to go online but guys there's a bunch of application go right down to the bottom but the one that we need right now is multiman so you need multiman because this multiman is the game manager so when you put a game on your USB stick you have to go into multiman then launch the game from multiman but to get to multiman faster go all the way up if you only come to this website for multiman you can just click multiman right here and it will take you to the latest multiman so just go ahead and hit just go ahead and click on it then go down and what we need today guys we're gonna download the base multiman which is the top one so go ahead and download that one and when it's done guys open up where it's located and now we're gonna transfer the, the multiman 4.8102 base to our USB stick so go ahead and copy and now paste it inside your USB stick also guys remember that the PS3 recognize FAT32 so always keep your USB stick formatted in FAT32 so let's close that off guys so let's go back to the homebrew section and let's scroll down a little bit more guys I'm I'm just walking through the, the on the website to see if I need anything that suits my need there might be stuff there that doesn't suit you there might be stuff there that suits other people but I'm just checking to see what I need 
so I guess what I need guys I need for my own purpose I need the FTP because this will also help me to transfer games or any file that I want over to the PS3 so I'm just gonna go ahead and download this one then I'm gonna copy to my USB stick you don't have to get the FTP server if you if you don't want it you don't have to get it but I want it so I'm just gonna get it and also show you guys how it works and not really how it works but uh, an another video will show you guys how it works but I'm just gonna show you guys how it's installed and all that so go ahead and eject your USB stick and now guys we're gonna go over to the PS3 and I'm gonna show you guys how to install it okay guys so now I remove my USB stick with the multi-man and also with the FTP file so now let's go over to the PS3 and show you guys how to install those so plug it into your PS3 now on the TV guys you need to go to with if you're on if you're on Rebug you need to go to package manager but if you're on Firefox or any other firmware you should see something that say package installer file or yeah you should see something that says package installer so we're on Rebug so we're gonna go to package manager it X and then you're gonna go down to install package file then we're gonna do standard installation and there are the files guys so let's go ahead and install the multiman first okay that's done now let's go back with O and let's go back in again and now let's install the PS3 FTP okay and that's done so let's go back out and here is the FTP I'll make a video and show you guys how to use the FTP afterwards so what we need right now is the multiman because the multiman is the game manager as I said before so on this USB stick I have a few games and I will also make a video showing you guys how to put games on a USB stick or uh, or any R drive and play it on your PS3 so let's go ahead and start multiman so it yes yes again and yes again it yes one more time and that's it guys we have now installed multi-man manager on our system also guys I will be making another video showing you guys how to rip um, game CD so if you have a game CD or you borrowed some CDs from your friends or anyone I'll show you guys how to rip rip your game CDs with the multi-man so once you rip it it will go to the hard drive and all this stuff but I'll show you guys th that in my next video also you can leave a comment and let me know if you guys want to see that video so guys now that we're in multi-man and we got it up and running I'll show you guys how it that it really works and how it works so I'll remove my USB stick and I'll plug the one with my game inside now if you have a USB stick or hard drive with game multi-man will detect um, those games on your USB stick and there you go guys it detect that my USB stick has games and it pull the games up right away so leave a comment guys let me know 
if you guys want to see me do a video showing you how to put it put games on a USB stick or or any hard drives or anything like that so guys that's it guys so thanks for watching guys and if you did like this video or if it helped you or anything guys go ahead and leave a like also guys hit that subscribe button guys and thanks for watching guys and see you in my next video